Hello everyone, welcome to this Jamie Terry performance testing interview question series. In this series, we will be covering the different interview questions with their respective answers. If you have encountered any kind of a question with regards to the performance testing or the JMeter, you can just go to the comment section and comment your question. We will be giving you an answer in our upcoming video. So this is the first video. So let's begin. One of the very common question you encounter during the interview is what is performance testing? So answer is that performance testing is non-functional testing type. It is performed to check the efficiency or effectiveness of application, especially when your application is under the load. Let's move towards the second question of this series. So what are the types of performance testing? Performance testing have the following types, load testing, stress testing, spike testing, endurance testing, volume testing, and scalability testing. Now let's move towards the third question of this series. What is the difference between load and stress testing? Load testing helps the application in order to identify the behavior under the expected load, whereas stress testing helps in finding the stress point or the maximum capacity of the application while handling a load. So stress testing is done by gradually increasing the load on the application. Whereas load testing is done to ensure that what is the expected load. For example, our application is supposed to handle 10,000 users, then we would be performing a load test and ensure that our application should behave correctly under that particular load. Whereas in stress testing, we would be gradually increasing load from 10,000 and see what is the maximum stress point or what is the maximum capacity of our application to handle a load. Let's move towards the next question. What is spike testing? Spike testing is a performance testing type in which an application receives a sudden and extreme rise in the load in intervals and it is used to find how application will behave in under sudden load spikes. So for example, there is a continuous load on your application. For example, it is 10,000 and suddenly it, it went from 10,000 to maybe 100k, maybe 200k, then come back to you know 10,000 users then again it will give you an other spike of like 100k and then come back to the 10,000 so this is this kind of behavior needs to be tested and that kind of testing is known as spike testing let's move towards the next question of this series what is NRS test? NRS test is a type of non-functional testing which is done to check if software can sustain under a huge load during a long period of time so here during a long period of time is a catch. We need to test the application for the longer period of time, maybe 24 hours, maybe 48 hours, maybe one week in order to ensure that how our application will perform if there is a continuous load on the application for the longer period of the time. Let's move towards the next question. What is volume testing? Volume testing is a type of non-functional testing. This testing is done to check the data volume handled by the application. In other words, volume of data handled and processed by the database. So we have a different kind of application where we are sending a lot of data on the application server and eventually that data needs to be processed by the database, right? That data needs to be handled by the database. We need to ensure that when there is a huge volume of data coming onto the application, then our application should be working fine. That's the purpose of doing the volume testing. Let's move towards the next question. What is scalability testing? Scalability testing is a type of non-functional testing in which the performance of a software application is tested in terms of its capability to scale up or scale down based on the number of requests. So what this means? This means is that, for example, our application is currently handling 10,000 users, but we never know uh, about the load coming onto the application because we cannot control that load. People can access our application at any time, so we don't know about that. That's why we need to check the scalability of the system. For example, our current system is handling 10,000 users, and if they suddenly 50,000 users coming onto the application, then our application should be able to scale and able to handle those 50,000 users without impacting the performance. And I tell you how this works. It works basically by increasing your infrastructure, like increasing the servers, increasing the RAM, hardware, and we are living in the cloud era. So 
we are usually using the cloud services and they have auto scaling option where they will scale your infrastructure to handle those huge number of users. Let's move towards the next question. So name some tools used for performance testing. So the common tools used in the industry are Apache JMeter, HP Loadrunner, IBM Rational Performance Tester, Catlink, Taurus, Locust. Let's move towards the next question. So what is JMeter? So JMeter is an Apache application which is purely Java based and it's open source. And this application is designed to load the functional behavior and measure the performance of your application. Let's move towards the next question. How does JMeter work? So JMeter will generate a group of virtual users and those virtual users will be sending a request to the target server or the application. Then it will collect a response from the target server and it will give you a details about the performance. And those results can be seen via the graphs or the tables available in the JMeter. Let's move towards the next question. What are samplers in JMeter? Samplers perform the actual work of the JMeter. E-sampler, except, always remember, except flow control action, it works in a different way. So each sampler generates one or more sample results. Those sample results have the various attributes like success, fail, elapsed time, data size. So this kind of information is needed and that can be viewed through the various listeners. Let's move towards the next question. Can you name some common samplers in JMeter? Yes. So the common samplers in the JMeter are FTP request, HTTP request, JDBC request, Java request, bean shell sampler, JUnit request, SMTP sampler. There are so many other available in the JMeter, but these are the common ones. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope that you have learned something today. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next video.